Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today we're going to be reviewing this phone, a Pixel 4a. I have been using it for about a week now. I got it on Saturday and today's Friday, so it's been about six days, and I've got some really good thoughts on this phone. I've thoroughly enjoyed using it. One of the main features that I enjoy on it the most is the battery life. I charged this bad boy Tuesday night at 9.45 p.m. up to 100%, and I didn't have to charge it till about 2.45 p.m. Friday. So that's like more than 50 hours of battery life. I think I only had around four hours of screen on time, but still that's really, really good battery life. The speed is much faster than the Samsung S7 that I was using before. Everything opens up pretty quickly, although it's not the most beefy processor you're going to find in a smartphone right now, it's pretty good for a $350 phone. The camera is really good. I've done a side-by-side -side comparison of some photos with my wife's camera, an iPhone 11, and we're going to be showing those here on the screen. The Pixel 4a captures the screens better, the text is more legible. When taking photos outside, the iPhone 11 tends to make their processed images look brighter. They both look very good and very comparable cameras on these phones. In very low light situations, I prefer the Pixel 4a, and in low light situations, the iPhone 11 has a better uh, night vision. Another great feature about this phone, it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage at that $350 mark. That's a ton of storage. However, it doesn't come with a micro SD card um, expander, but I find 128 gigabytes of storage is all I really need. It also comes with a 100 uh, gigabyte plan for three months of Google Drive um, with, when you buy the Pixel, and that's pretty cool. I like having USB-C on the phone because I was uh, before using micro USB. It's really good. Um, it doesn't have wireless charging, which doesn't really bother me too much now that I have USB-C to charge things with because I can just pack one charger for my laptop and my phone and it works out great. Um, the speakers are pretty good. The battery life is amazing. I mostly use my phone to watch YouTube videos while I'm on the toilet or to listen to podcasts or an audiobook. I, I like the, uh, the stock Android that Google has. The fonts look really nice just out of the box. It tells you an estimation of how much battery you've got left. You can turn on battery percentage if you want. Everything just looks very well designed and there's no bloatware installed. When I bought this from Amazon Unlocked, that was very nice. Um, you're going to get a solid three years of updates from Google. And so this makes it a lot better than the Samsung S7 that I got. They've got about like one and a half years of updates. It was still running Android 8. This is running Android 10. So three years of updates. I would totally recommend this phone. Most people, it's going to do exactly what you need. It's a phone, it's going to take great photos, it's got great storage, and a pretty decent battery life. If you've liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.